How's it going guys, Alex today? I'm going to be welcoming you to the first episode of The Road to Glory. As you can see here, we're just opening our pro, what's it called, packs? Welcome back packs. This is the first episode and we have an Unreal team by the end of it, so make sure you guys do stick around to the end of the video. We also play against the featured squad in the squad battles. Because yeah, sorry for the lag there guys, we're calling sort of a mess up a little bit there. So as you can see, we've got DeMarcos in this pack, which is not too bad. As well as Joe Allen and I think Zoet the goalkeeper, then a couple of bronzes. I just want to quickly check the price, see if they were worth anything. I doubt they would be, but you know, you never know, there could be some gems. I ended up selling a silver in it we got in these packs for 3,000 coins later on in the episode as well, so that was very decent, but yeah. Actually, we didn't even get a rare in this pack, so we didn't stay and look. We got Martins in, we got Woodburn, we got a couple of silvers, it was one of those silvers that sold for a lot. As you can see, we're looking at the trade pile. I'll list them all up now. Just got to take these ones back at the club and put them on the trade pile because I actually sent them. But yeah, I'll be trying to upload this series very, very regularly. Because I reckon it'll be, you know, it'll be very enjoyable. I've already, after this, played squad battles. We played all the games of, we played three of the four games of professional, won all of them. And we played one game on world class and we also won that. And yeah, the squad's coming on decently. I'll talk more about that later on though. As you can see here, I'm just lining up the squad, taking out everyone who's not in the right position, so we know who to purchase first. As we, we got quite a lot of money from these packs. There we go. We've gone for the Bundesliga as the first thing. The name's so me to top, the top 100 or something, because this is a road to account I had last year, but didn't even do one. So it's a bit useless, but here we go, looking for left wingers. He doesn't interest me at all with his 61 shooting, so we look for left mids, and there's we find Serge Nambury. Yeah, it takes a little while to get him as we keep searching for lowest price and we keep getting that weird left mid that no one really cares about. Nabry there that I missed, which is a shame. So yeah, we keep searching for a bit. He comes up again. And then finally, we get a few Nabrys. I buy one of them and then there we go. So now that we've got Nabry in the starting lineup, we have to fill out the rest of the squad. So here you can see we're going for the right winger. I wasn't really sure what they would be. There's no one for right wing, so we looked on right mids again. Nothing's showing up here. Nikolai Muller was one I thought was quite decent there. As you can see, he looked at his card. But then, Herman the German showed up. So we found the cheapest one of him, and we just bought him. There we go, flat out. He's in the team as well. So now we've got quite a solid front three, as you can see with Nerge Lerner, whatever his name is. He just came in the starter squad. Not too bad player either. So here we go, we're looking for centre-backs. Couldn't really find anyone too good. There was just who we already had and Shula who didn't have much pace and I saw this Stark guy I thought he looked pretty decent so about to purchase him but then I saw Bender as well and I thought they're both fairly cheap and we'll have enough so why don't we buy both of them and that's what we do so we get Stark and Bender we go for Bender first as you can see now Bender is a very decent player uh, high defensive work rates low attacking work rates or medium sorry so yeah we've got him in the team there now next up we're going to buy Stark, he's going to replace Robert Hoof, so Robert Hoof doesn't play the game for us, but what can you do, he's untradeable, so there we go, we're looking for the cheapest Starks, we can't get any of those ones there, so we keep searching, here we go, now we can sign Stark to the team. Now next up we do indeed need two fullbacks, now I did have a look for quite a while to find what fullbacks we wanted, because it's quite hard choosing, there was not many right backs or left backs came up, as you can see. I tried to get Henriques, but we couldn't we couldn't manage it. Then we searched it. I looked at his card and thought, no, never mind. We keep searching. Weiser, he's a great player. Couldn't quite get him either. So we searched for it again, and two Kimmiches came up. So we went for that one, and it sort of like glitched for a second, but we still signed Kimmich, so we put him in the team. As you can see, our team's coming along very well now. So we're looking on the left side of the fence. Plattenhardt looked great, but I couldn't get him. None of these were still there. So then when I searched for Plattenhardt again to come up, also him, he didn't interest me whatsoever. As you can see, Brasinki came up, who's another great fullback. So we just purchased Brasinki to put him in the starting lineup. So as you can see, we, we've got a full squad now, a couple of bronzes in there, which is what we look to upgrade first. First of all, we go to goalkeepers. That's probably more important than any of the oppositions. I tried to buy him, but we couldn't. So we searched again. And the first one that came up was Loris, Loris Carius, even from Liverpool. So we put him in the side, best rated one there was, and he's rare as well, which just makes it look a bit better. So there, as you can see, we've only got two players that aren't gold in the team, so we look to replace them. No one really interested me at Cannes that was German. As you can see, my was probably the best one, and his card didn't look great. So we take a look at the squad, and we take a look if a Bundesliga attacking midfielder would work there instead, which it would as long as we replace the centre mid on that's silver at the moment. So I thought I might as well you know, sort out both of those in one. So as we go over here, you can see we're searching. 
I'm gonna look for Forsberg to start with because I bought him for 750 coins recently. But I was surprised to see he was not cheap whatsoever. He's about 3,000 coins, so he could be an investment for the future. So I scrapped that. I looked at Cam's in the Bundesliga, and you'll see who we find. He's a very decent player. You see, we're looking, no one there, and then bang, Fabian. That's who we want. So we look for the cheapest Fabian we can. Now, for the game we played, Fabian was actually very decent. He was probably the best player. Even though the striker did very well as well. But you'll see that later on. So just pick up a random Fabian here to put him into the starting lineup. And then we have to replace the other central midfielder. Now, Hector's a great player in this game, so we might look to get him in soon. Obviously, Rudy's a fantastic player as well that we got on trade when our starter squad. So he's good there. As you can see, we're looking for some defensive midfielders. That was only Rudy that him and sent him in, so we have to look for defensive midfielders. Bumgartling looks quite decent there, as you can see. We take a look at compare price for some reason, see what's cheapest ones that come up. Yeah, then we just search for the cheaper CDMs until he can come up. As you can see, we have a little bit of scrolling, not too much. And there's Bumgartling into the starting lineup. So now we've got a full gold team after not even playing a game, just from the welcome back packs. And I, don't, I didn't even play this account much. I only got two all-player packs, which is not even too great. And there's the little side, and it looks very decent, as you can see. So we're going against the feature squad, the Dell Destroyers by Deli Alley. I was looking at difficulties, and I thought I'd play it on professional, which is what I play most of the games on this account for the time being. I play world class and legendary on my main account, but I've got a much better team there, including playing a lot of Mane and stuff. So, yeah. I was looking at the two kits. Oh, these are the two that you get at the start. A nice track is for the, the goalkeeper there. But as you can see, Deli Alley's got a fantastic team with his 99 pro player card. He's got Messi, Ronaldo, Kane, one sort of walker, and yeah, a very solid team. Not sure about the formation, but if it works for him, it works for him. So as you can see, the first highlight of the game, here we go. We cut it back there, lovely stuff, and the striker, Nerdlearn, or whatever his name is, puts it into the top corner. So it was a fantastic start. Now I want to say, I've played the rest of my squad battles games, and I did make a change. We've got rid of the striker, Nerdlearn. And we've brought in Divock Origi to that front. And look at this goal from Deli Alley. How has that gone in? But yeah, we've brought in Divock Origi as a striker. And I also signed Kevin Prince, but I was hanging to sit on the bench, you know. He can play when we need him to. And in the squad battle games I played tonight, I think I played three with Divock Origi. I think he might have scored nine goals. Didn't record them because I'm not going to be recording too much squad battles. I'll just be playing them off camera because it's not too exciting. But I'll definitely always record the feature squad because that's quite interesting to see, as you can see here. Get into a good position. We shoot, and somehow that's gone in. That's the second for Nurture Learner, as you can see there. We also missed the goal whilst I was looking away, so yeah. You guys have seen it. Then Ronaldo scores a good goal for them, or Kane might have been. Didn't reach really it three plays, but that makes it 3 2. So we're a bit close at this point. We obviously we're on a good attack here, and Nurture Learner get, completes his hat trick. Lovely performance from him. Yeah. Here we go, I see the man making the overlap. We play a lovely free ball to him and Herman tucks it in to make it a 5-2, which I think is what the game finished. Yep, it is, as you can see. So we went up to silver, oh, bronze one, sorry, after that. Bear in mind we didn't play at all on Monday, because obviously we only just start this up today. And yeah, we also completed some objectives with this. We got that. We got the packs, obviously. We got that pack. None of the bits are great. We also did the some, what's it called, start objectives, as you can see here completed that which gets us a lone player pack and the lone player not when I lie wasn't brilliant but what can you do it's not really useful for us whatsoever but I was just looking at the ones the objectives there couldn't really do anything too easily and yeah as you can see he sold for 3,000 coins one of those bronzes and then those two are just sat there left there we go we open up the lone player pack what do we get oh look at this we get Argentina come up Left mid and it's Nicholas Gaetan. Nothing special, even though I had a league team we wouldn't be using him, so we send him to the club for him to sit, to be honest. Now we go into the goal pack, as you can see, I'm not a rare player, but look who we get. Charlie Austin from my club, Southampton, so not too bad. Sold for 500 coins as well, but we had a quick look, sent him to the trade pile, sent the rest of the stuff to the club. But yeah, that's basically the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys did all enjoy this episode of The Road to Glory. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Comment down below what other things we can do in the series and if you think Bundesliga is a good league for our team. Also, as you can see here, we're just looking at the objectives. It would mean the world to me if you could subscribe if you're new. I'm going to try to post this series very regularly. I don't post very regularly at the best of times, so you might struggle, but 
yeah, we're just renaming the club here to Road to Glory, which is what it's going to be. And we're going to do very well this series. So, yeah. See you guys all later.